Hello and welcome back to another video, it's your boy Elorado and in this video we're going to talk about the Yamaha what I think about them, what I like and what I don't like about those type of speakers doing dancehall music so without further ado, let's get into it Elorado Production Outstanding About the Yamaha, I have a pair of HS5 and I'm going to really think about uh, tell you what me personally think about them just my experience of using those uh, studio monitor doing dance and music now doing dance and music with those uh, studio monitor for me personally I do not like to record on them I don't know for some reason probably two may have the 5 inch or probably if you have the 8 inch you would have better or if you have the 5 inch with a subwoofer or with the Yamaha subwoofer it would have sound better but anyhow, me personally, I do not like to record on them. That are the first flag. Anyways, why I really say that, I mean, you get clarity and, and so forth like that when, when you record on them, but like bass, in bass not so heavy. When you're in a studio, i the artist, but it is low. Yeah, that really love about them. They are loud, they are bright, and you can hear the mid range when you do recording with them. I record on them a lot. You see me? Um, practically, if you want an entire year, record on, on the Yamaha's at the studio because um, when the studio was open I had them in it you know I took out the care case and I had them in it now um, what I really like about them also is I like me can hear the flaws in my mix it really helps to really point out the flaws in your mix it is a very mid-range focus studio monitor the highs are really bright so if when i am mixing on it and the highs are extremely too high or the high hat that snaps sort of weird in it uh me know them definitely load or they want to balance better another thing if the mid-range too harsh in it me know say all right the mid-range need to fix because true because it's a very mid-range driven Studio monitor, you know, if you really really harsh, you need to go here. You know, it's an upgraded version of the NS10s from way back in the day. I think some studios in Jamaica can go, you can see the NS10s, but the NS10s are passive studio monitor, so you have to really have an amplifier for you to push them if you, if you get sound out of them. And like the HS5, 7, and 8, now they are active, meaning that they already have the stuff inside of them, you just plug and play. Another thing I don't really like about them is they are really narrow the dispersion of the sound it is for me personally it is very very not really very very but it is narrow you know i really get that width as in some other studio monitors that i've heard uh, for me personally whenever I, I, I mix and reference in my mix between studio monitors i know that in the yamaha i listen for clarity smoothness and if the mix in it really balance certain way that 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 help me forget me mix them smoother it can really help forget your mix them smoother unlike the care case when we use uh me not really hearing the mid-range like home really hearing it within uh the yamaha's another rainy day we're in a rainy season so it's another rainy day doing this video and so forth like that so you might hear the rain in the background uh, from the outside anyways um, I think they are very good speakers to use to do mixing on. However, I think it would it, it would be better if you are using the fire period with a sub. If you're using the seven, you probably you not know, have to use a sub depends on the space where you're in. You know? And if you are using eight, you don't really need a sub because the, the, the frequency for the eights extend really lower than um, 50 hertz. I think I think it goes on about 37 hertz if you remember correctly to to 40,000 kilohertz if me, me if me memory serve me right but but then again a subwoofer would extend the bass and those and leave the woofer at the five to deal with the low mids to the, the mids so me personally think they are very great monitor for really mix on but recording wise it is just depending on what you really think yeah I mean I record on them for a year but we never really liked it but the other engineer friend them really like it. You see me? So I leave it there. Anyways, that is just what I really think about those studio monitors. So in the comment section, okay, let me know what you really think if you use a pair or not, or if you're planning to get it. What you really think about what I really say about those studio monitors. I mean, granted, you can get them, 
because I have used them and can recommend them to anybody. You see, they are very great studio monitors, but for the size of me really have, uh, me personally, I don't really hear the low mids in it really right, and the low frequency, I don't really hear in it right. So, me personally, I just them the two flaws I'm really here in it. But if it's a case where um, you focus on focusing and if you're mixing vocals, I think they are a good monitor because they can help if you get the mid range right, smooth, and the highs really open up certain way. It's just that the dispersion and the sound is it is not wide enough. Yeah, so that is just my two cents on the slim monitor with that uh, production. So until next time, leave some comments below and peace out.